Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading for Libra. This is going to be for October 2023. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So um, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, uh, what your blocks and challenges are, and then we'll finish off the, the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, if there's anyone new coming towards you. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are co collective messages for the collective um, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situation, to your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. And um, if this, um, what else? Um, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. Um, what else? Um, oh, be careful of scammers on TikTok. There are people trying to impersonate you. Uh, if you do come across these individuals, just uh, report them, okay? Tell about Libra. Tell about Libra. Tell about Libra. Tell about Libra. Tell about singles Libra. What is going on with singles Libra in love? And uh, what are singles Libra's blocks and challenges in love for October 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Libras for October 2023. Three cups and a two of swords. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like you guys are out there meeting new people, having a good time. But with the two of swords here, uh, you know, I feel like when it comes to love, I feel like you're, you're not quite sure what you're looking for. You know, um, I do feel like there's def definitely some sort of internal conflict that you're dealing with here. Uh, maybe there's something that you're not addressing or that there's something that you haven't healed from yet. But I, I just feel like you're kind of like taking your time, kind of like, you know, testing the waters and just see seeing what's out there, you know. Uh, but, you know, I just feel like you're not really quite sure what you're looking for here. You know, maybe there's some, still some healing work that you need to do here. We have, we have the Star card and Temperance here and the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know. It could be something that you're not dealing with here that's coming up to the surface again. It could be that you might be feeling triggered, you know. Um, but whatever this is, I feel like, you know, I do feel like there's a sense of still needing to move on from something here that you still haven't dealt with here yet. We have the Chariot and the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Something is bubbling up to the surface here for you. This sort of like needs your attention here. So in order for you to find love, you have to deal with something that you're not dealing with here because it's creating a block for you when it comes to love. Okay? Some of you guys are really emotionally not open for it. Even though you guys are looking for it, you guys are not ready for it. Okay? The Five of Wands, the Fool, Aries Energy, Aquarius Energy, the Temperance card. The Five of Cups. There's some sort of grief that you still haven't moved on here yet. There's some sort of hurt. Yeah, there's some still some sort of emotional grief that you still haven't moved on from or that you still haven't healed from yet. Yeah, that fool card is telling you that you're not ready. You're not really ready for commitment. It's so interesting. It's like you want it, but then you're not ready for it. Yeah, you're not ready for it. I feel like someone here still hasn't healed from some sort of some sort of past situation here that you're maybe really confused about. You're trying to look look for answers here when it comes to maybe something that you dealt with in the past. You know, in this situation, in this instance here, you know, only you know the truth because you had that direct experience with that person and you just have to come to terms with it on your own time. You know, I, I feel like whoever, uh, you know, did you dirty or did you wrong, you know, this person might not provide you the closure and the answers that you're looking for here. And when that happens, you got to find that on your own. Uh, we have uh, the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy, the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something that you're still still trying to overcome, some sort of obstacle here that you went through here. 
Um, I do feel like uh, a lot of guys are connecting to your guides and your angels and your ancestors. I've been asked to connect your, to your guides and your angels and your ancestors in a higher power here, okay, in the divine. Uh, what else do you have here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on? Is there anyone new coming into Libra's life for October 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs for uh, Libra. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel like this is just not love in general, but I feel like someone here is blocked in like all areas of their life because I feel like you know you might have hit a crossroads here um crossroads in your life crossroads in your career and your finances here crossroads in love uh four of swords and a queen of swords I do get the sense that someone here is really avoiding their healing journey here or their healing process like how this queen of swords is turned away from the four of swords the four of swords is a healing energy the four of swords is a recovery energy here Yeah, I feel like someone here keeps looking back and ruminating about something in the past here, but not really doing anything about it. I, I do get the sense that you're trying here, but I almost get the sense that, am I doing it the right way? You know, am I doing everything that I can? Am I doing it correctly? Uh, the uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, the uh, Knight of Swords, and the Five of Swords. I do feel like you're still holding on to a lot of burden here. I do feel like, you know, somebody here is definitely running from their problems. Yeah, I don't really see anyone new coming in. Yeah, I don't see anyone new coming in. I do feel like there's a lot of fear about making decisions here. I do feel like there's a lot of fear about opening up or letting go or moving on. Yeah, you know, keep in mind when you don't let go of things that are no longer serving you, you know, it'll be quite difficult to make room for new things to come into your life. You know, blessings. You know, blessings from the universe. Yeah, there's a lack of forward movement here for you. I do feel like someone here is very stuck. Someone here is very stuck. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Two of Cups. Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. I feel like there is someone here that you still want, Libra. Someone here that really betrayed you. I, I feel like you're hoping for a new beginning with this person, even though this person lied to you here. Yeah. I feel like this is something that you're trying to reconcile or work through. It's kind of like you're asking yourself, why would you want to be around with someone that's that has been horrible to you? So I feel like this is the work that you're doing right now, okay? Um, so Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.